Hi guys, I'm Alicia Loren. If it's your first time watching, today I'm going to give you guys my review of a brand by the name of The Ordinary. I have eight products from them that I ordered about a month ago and I've had them long enough to give you guys a very thorough review and my opinion about how I think that they work. One of the reasons that I wanted to put together or come back with my channel is because I wanted to be able to talk to you guys about skincare from an African American point of view. Black skin is not like other people's skin and so it's great to watch reviews from everyone else but of course you want to review from our point of view and that's exactly what I'm going to be giving you all the time. So. I have eight products that I purchased from The Ordinary, and if you see me looking down, I'm looking down at my notes, so I'm going to um, put information up on the screen about each of the products as I'm going through them. So I purchased all of my products from Beautylish. Beautylish is a, a company that's located in Seattle, and the reason that I purchased my products from Beautylish instead of uh, directly from Ordinary's parent company, which is DCM, is because the DCM uh, site is their location is in Canada and so it would have taken taken longer from shipping and also because they're dealing with such high volume of requests for products that it would have taken a much longer time for me to get the things that I ordered so when purchasing from Beautylish I was able to get my products in two days I ordered them on April the 4th and I received them on April the 7th um, on Beautylish's website, when you make a purchase, any purchase that's over $35 is free shipping. And if you purchase from DCM, any purchase that's over $25 USD is uh, free shipping. So either way, you get a good deal on shipping. I'm not sure what the prices are for um, smaller um, purchases for shipping, but it's still a great deal. A lot of places you have to pay a much higher, spend a lot more money in order to get free shipping. So let's get into the products. Um, I have three acid products that I purchased from them. Uh, the first one is the uh, glyconic, Glycolic Acid 7% Tony Solution. And this product you can see I have used a pretty good amount of it. This product is a product that I bought to use in the daytime instead of my 5% Glycolic Acid Wipes from Nip Plus Fab. I was hesitant when I got this product because I did read through the ingredients for all of the products. For some reason, I must have skipped reading through the ingredients for this product because it has rose water in it. Now, I am highly allergic to rose uh, oil, so I avoid any product that has rose oil, rose water in it because I get cystic acne bumps or pimples whenever I use a product that has that in it which stays on my skin for about four weeks and they're very very painful and I always get a hyperpigment uh, pigmented scar from any pimple that I get and so I don't need another one so I didn't realize that when I purchased the glycolic acid however when I got it home and I read through the ingredients and if you guys are following me on Instagram um, if not, you'll see that I made a post about the ingredient. And so I was really scared to try it, but I went ahead and did it anyway. And I'm glad that I did because I didn't have an allergic reaction. And I really do like the, um, the toning solution. It is a little bit stronger than what I was using in the daytime before. And so I could tell a difference. It's 2% stronger than what I was using. And the quantity that you get, you get eight ounces in this product and I don't have my other wipes in front of me, but the other wipes that I was using, they're $14.99 for 60 wipes. The amount that you get of product, it's $8.70 is, I mean, it's humongous. You're, I, I've never seen any product where you get this amount for the price. I also tried the Pixie Glycolic Acid Toner Liquid, and it's in a much smaller bottle. It's probably somewhere around four ounces of product. Um, and I believe it's somewhere around $16.99 or so. That particular product I gave to my mom to try because she kind of does nothing for her skin and her skin looks really, really good. She is, I'm not gonna tell you how old she is. She's older than me, but um, she doesn't really do anything for her skin and I wanted her to try something, but the Pixie Acid Toner has some fragrance to it and I'm very sensitive to fragrance the Ordinary Toner does not have any fragrance, 
Um, it doesn't have any added color, and that's what I'm looking for in skincare now. I don't want added fragrance, I don't want added color, I don't want unnecessary ingredients, and that's kind of what The Ordinary has to offer. They wanna offer skincare ingredients that are going to do what they're supposed to do at a price point that's accessible for everyone. They want there to be integrity in their products and they kind of wanted to approach it from the point of it doesn't have to cost $100 in order for it to work. Now that's not to say that I don't have skincare products that cost more money, but it was it is to say that you can get something that does work for a lower price point. So the glycolic acid toning solution is effective. I did notice um, a softening of my skin um, beyond what I was getting before with my 5% uh, solution from another company. So I would say if you're considering the glycolic acid 7% solution, that is a go for me. Um, I really do like it. The next thing that I got from them as a acid product is the lactic acid 10% hyaluronic acid 5%. This product is a a product that lactic acid is, is really meant to be used as a hydrator. So it kind of works more on the surface of your skin and it helps to uh, draw moisture into your skin um, and kind of hold in things that you have there. So I had never used a lactic acid product before. I am someone who is dry in the winter time and I'm pretty normal in the summer with a little bit of oiliness on my nose. So. I do need a moisturizer, but I need a very, very light moisturizer and my skin is very picky about what I can and cannot use on my skin. So I was looking to use a lactic acid and see if it could help with moisturization in the sense that I would not feel dry and maybe I could, you know, not feel necessarily like I had to have a moisturizer even though it was something that I worked into my routine because the other skincare products that I have been using in my regular routine kind of added enough moisturization where I didn't need my separate moisturizer, if, that, if you understand what I'm saying. So I just wanted to see how much moisture that helped to hold into my skin. So I was ple pleasantly surprised when I used the lactic acid. Um, I got, um, it does give you a bit of a tingle on your skin when you use it. It doesn't burn, it doesn't feel like fire but it is gonna create some tingling on the surface of your skin. It will dissipate in a couple minutes, but I do like the way that it feel, felt. I didn't get any serious bumps. I don't have sensitive skin. The only time I'm going to get a bump from using a product is if my skin is allergic to something that's included in, in the ingredients. So um, I was able to use this product just fine, and um, I would say that it did help increase hydration on my skin and so I use this product at night um, as the um, the first acid that I use instead of the glycolic. Um, so that's another product that I was pleased with. The other acid um, that I used from The Ordinary is the salicyclic acid 2% solution. This particular product I used because um, I wanted something that I could use as a spot treatment for pimples. I only get hormonal acne around the time of my cycle. And again, if I have an allergic reaction, I'll get one of those cystic acne pimples. And this worked really great at treating those. So a regular pimple that I get that's hormonal, I can get rid of with a salicyclic acid or a benzoyl peroxide treatment in two days. And that stood up to the test just like any other product that I've used. It's not too drying or too harsh. So I'm not, some products that I use, I can get a little bit of peeling because they're too harsh. This one worked just fine. It's not too harsh. With this one, you'll notice that when you apply it, it can get a little bit foamy if you rub it into the skin. So I like to just pat, and I would say you don't even need a whole drop of this. So even though it's smaller than most of the other bottles, uh, most of the other products come in one ounce sizes. This one comes in a half ounce. You don't need very much of it. I was able to use less than a drop to use on two bumps that I had. Um, I was treating a cystic acne pimple that I had on my cheek and then I was trying to work on um, the blackheads that I had on my nose. Now for the blackheads that I have on my nose, I was not able to get rid of that after treating for even two weeks. So I'm gonna try retinol for that. Now it had been out of stock from the ordinary, so I haven't been able to try their uh, their retinol product. It, I believe it is a 
I believe they have a 2% retinol and then a 1% retinoid product. So I'm gonna try the retinol, but um, it was out of stock. So I do like the salicyclic acid for pimples. It is effective as a spot treatment and I'm very pleased with it. Um, the product that I tried that's an acid that I was not happy with is the Aqualabellic Acid 5%. Now this particular product um, I purchased and I was looking for something that would brighten and to help with um, signs of aging and it says it's a concentrated serum to um, brighten and target signs of age so for me my main concerns are hyperpigmentation and I have some very slight um, expression lines on my forehead and around my eyes so this particular product when I when I try things for skincare the way that I do that is when I get new products I usually take a week off of all of my normal things with the exception of sunscreen um, and because I kind of want to give my my skin a chance to adjust and kind of realize okay well we're not, nothing's going on I don't want to have results from the product that I was already using mixed in with the new things that I'm trying so I give myself about a week off um, other than cleanser again um, a moisturizer and um, sunscreen and then the new product I'll, tr I'll use that product for one day and then I'll give myself two days with you know nothing other than my moisturizer and my face wash and my sunscreen so that I can see if I have any allergic reactions or any adverse reactions at all to the product so this particular product I use um, probably two drops they recommend two to three drops but they do recommend that you only use this two to three times a week because um, it can cause sensitivity and um, that it can be a little bit strong. So I use this product one time, I use two to three drops. I think I use two drops. Um, and with any product that's an acid, I was careful to avoid mu mucous membranes, which will be your eyes and your mouth and your, and, you know, your nostrils. The next day, I had splits on the corner of my mouth on both sides. One side healed within a, a few days, but the other side took three weeks to heal and this was with you know a highly moisturizing chap you know lip balm and then i was also using my bite beauty agave lip mask i would say you know three to four times a day and you know you don't even need to put that on that many times a day but that's how careful i was being with this cut that i had on my mouth and because i was using nothing else on my face i know that it was that particular product now with something like this if you get a product in your mouth you're gonna be able to taste it I didn't get it in my mouth um, you know I'm not I, I I'm I'm very very careful I'm knowledgeable I'm trained in aesthetics I'm not so I, I, I would dare to say that I know what I'm doing I'm not inexperienced so I didn't make a mistake with the product is, is what I'm saying so what I would say for this particular product is you need to be very careful. Um, being that my skin is not sensitive, I'm not really sure why I had such a reaction. My skin may have just not liked that particular product. So it is strong. You need to be careful with it. And based on the reaction that I had, whatever result that I would get from continuing to use the product twice a week or three times a week, there's no way that I would risk it. So I would just say for the alpha lipoic acid, um, it's something that you need to be very, very careful with and really weigh out the risk to the reward and consider if it's really going to help with what you're trying to accomplish. I would say I would rather try brightening with vi vitamin C, which isn't going to scar me um, before I try something that if I put a drop of it on, I'm going to have sores that last a month. So um, I would say I'd have to pass on that particular product. Um, the next thing that I'm going to get into is the vitamin C suspension, 23% uh, with hyaluronic acid, 2%. Uh, this product is a waterless vitamin C product, and this actually helps to make it much more stable. It is in a lightless uh, container. Now, it can get a little bit of air in here, but the fact that it doesn't have water in it allows it to stay more stable. And one of the things that's a big deal on the market 
that I want to address is that a lot of companies are selling vitamin C products and they're selling them in unstable packaging. Vitamin C needs to be, it can't be introduced to air or light. And if it's introduced to air oxygen in particular, it's going to oxidize as an antioxidant. If it's introduced to oxygen, it is going to lose its effectiveness. And so therefore, if you sell vitamin C in a, in, a, in a container where it can be introduced to oxygen, it's not going to be effective anymore. So if you are getting vitamin C in a container like this, where it's a dropper and you can open it and <laughs> essentially in a couple weeks, it's not gonna be useful to you anymore. And there are lots of brands who are selling a vitamin C product for 70, 80, 60, $90 when in two weeks the product is going to be absolutely worthless to you so it, it would be useful for you to take some time and do some research um, about vitamin c what it does how it works so that you know that when you're buying it if you're not buying a stable form of vitamin c if it's in a package like that where it's exposed to light and air it's going to be no good so Please be careful when you're buying it because companies have, they're, they're unscrupulous and they're just, a lot of people are out just to make money and so they don't care about stealing from you. So there are two companies that I'm aware of that sell, well besides the ordinary selling this in a package where there's no light getting to it and it being waterless and so you, can, you don't have to worry about this turning. There are two other companies, which I'm going to list, that sell vitamin C in packaging that does not have exposure to air and light. Now, one of them is where I purchased my vitamin C product from, and I purchased it from this company because I'm not paying, I, I choose not to pay $90 for the Drunk Elephant product. Now, I specifically was hunting for a vitamin C product because I didn't want to pay the amount that Drunk Elephant was requesting. However, I was about to, but a company that I was familiar with and I had been familiar with for about 10 years or so, I realized that they had a vitamin C product in, stable, in a stable container and so I purchased it from them. Okay, now, disclaimer over. <laughs> this is in a stable, state because it doesn't have water in it. What you'll notice is that this product is a little bit gritty because there's no water in it. So you can mix it with something that has a water base, like your water-based um, moisturizer, and it'll take away the grittiness when you apply this to your skin, especially if you're applying it in the daytime. That will probably bother you if you're applying it before you apply your makeup and the rest of the stuff that you put on for the day. But if you're applying it at night, it may not be as big of a deal. I like to use this particular vitamin C at night because vitamin C helps to uh, stimulate collagen. And so I like to use this higher level of vitamin C at night and that's when I was using this one in particular. And I would say that I was pleased with it. Vitamin C is something that you're not going to see results overnight. It's something that you'll wanna to continue to use over a long-term basis. Vitamin C also helps to increase the effectiveness of your sunscreen because it is an antioxidant. So of course, I put this on right before I put on my sunscreen. And for the price um, of this, you know, of course, I'm gonna buy tons more of this. So I had no problem. This is a very thin product. And so I like to, um, you know, be careful when it comes out because it kind of just pours out onto your hand when you use it. So you'll wanna um, be careful when you're using that. Okay, so the natural moisturizing factors is the next thing. And I like this because, again, my skin is very, very picky about the type of moisturizers that I can use. And so this particular product, um, because I have to use something very, very light, even though the consistency of this product seems to be a little bit thick, it um, it's not heavy on the skin. It absorbs very, very quickly. It doesn't leave any type of oily cast or anything like that. There's no oil in this product. And so it leaves a very light, hydrate, hydrated feel to the skin. And so, I, I mean, there's really nothing else to say about it. It's just really light. It's very comforting. It's not greasy at all. And so I really like the feel of this moisturizer. It doesn't take a lot um, 
to get the effect that you're looking for. And so I really like this on my, my face. And then even I like to use it on my feet. Um, if I'm looking for something that's not slippery, I like to use it on my, my feet if I'm gonna wear sandals or something because it doesn't create any type of slip or anything like that. So I like to keep some of that in my purse as well. And then the last thing that I have is the High Adherence Silicone Primer. And um, this product I wanted to try because, you know, they had some stuff that was a little bit not as skincare related. And they had two different primers. And so I gave this one a try because it seemed like maybe it would be similar to some of the other things that I already use. This particular product I wasn't, um, I wasn't as pleased with. I use this the way I would use any other primer. I used a pretty small amount. It applied very, very smoothly. It felt nice on the skin. Um, when I applied foundation on top of it, it I could see a bit of a white cast through my foundation, which was very odd. Um, and then also areas where I touched my face, it caused my foundation to roll up into little like balls, which is re like really abnormal. So like if I were to like rub my hand against my face, like, you know, which nothing should happen. Like I have like some foundation comes off or whatever because I'm not wearing something that stays, that stays put. But, and I'm not wearing that primer now, but no, it's not balling up. So you get transfer, but it's not rolling up on my hands. That's what happened when I used that particular primer. So I'm not sure why I got that result. And I did use it a couple times just to see if that happened again. And I got the same result. So, um, it is white when it comes out of the bottle and I expected it to be clear. So I'm not sure what, uh, what the other ingredients are that causes it to have a color, but it does affect the way that you can see it on the skin. So, oh, and I forgot one. <laughs> um, I also bought the uh, Argoline Solution 10%. And this product is meant to target the appearance of dy dynamic facial lines. Now. This product I bought specifically to use on the expression lines that I have on my forehead. Now on their website, they say that you should be able to see a difference in your wrinkles after one week, and then um, you should be able to see a difference in the depth of the wrinkles in 15 days. Now, they say that you should apply this product twice a day. Now for me, I wouldn't say that I noticed a dramatic difference. Now what you have to remember is that um, I wasn't able to get detailed information from their website about who the study was done on, what types of skin, the nationality, ethnicity, things like that. And what we have to remember is that Af you know African American black skin is different than um, people of other ethnicities. And so I did not notice a difference in the fine wrinkles that I had on my forehead and also around my eyes. And so I would say for me, that particular product wasn't the the best now that does not mean that with continued use it would not give me an improvement it may have meant that i needed more time for me on average to really get an idea of whether or not i'm going to get a result i like to use a skincare product for two months but after a month i would think that i should start to see some type of result so i wouldn't say that i saw much of a change so i would say for me that particular product is a, is a pass so um, you know, short and sweet about that one. So, um, again, I am happy with the products um, and the brand overall. Definitely, you can try a bunch of different things and see how you like them. I had no really, really bad results except for with the alpha lipoic acid. Um, but with any acid at all, you want to be very, very careful. If you are taking um, anything, if you're using anything that's prescription, then you definitely want to check with your physician before you start using new products. And if you have any skin position skin skin conditions then you also want to check with your dermatologist so for instance i have eczema i have psoriasis and so um if you're being treated with prescription medications for those reasons you also want to check with your dermatologist to make sure that none of the things that you try are going to interact with those medications also other medications that you're taking orally and can affect you internally with things that you apply topically so always check with your physician um, when you're taking when you're using things that are strong like acids because you never know um, something to always also think about when you're using acids on your skin you'll want to be careful with things like waxing um, 
So because that can affect you, there are retinols and retinoids that um, the ordinary offers and you need to be careful with things like that when you are waxing. So just be careful, read the warnings, talk to your doctor, proceed with caution, especially when things are new to you. And I would say always take your time. Don't get something with skincare and expect to have a result in one day because skincare does not work like that. What you want is you want to take some time, make the commitment, and expect to see a result over the long term. What I am expecting is I am starting to take care of my skin right now and I'm 34 years old is that when I'm 60, I'll still look like this. <laughs> so that's kind of what you go for with skincare is that you want to over time gradually see a result. Makeup is kind of the thing where you see something absolutely instantly. Skincare, you're doing it for the long haul. So I have a, a few more products that I wanna get from The Ordinary that I'm gonna try out and I'll definitely um, post the information about that so you guys can see how I like the other things that I got. It's just that it's so popular. Things go out of stock so quickly and they're hard to get a hold of. So I have more products from them as they come. They have foundations that are out. I am definitely going to get those and do a review of those products. So stay tuned, but I hope the review was useful to you guys. I hope that you try the products and the thing that I wanted to mention about Beautylish, the alkalophobic acid, I did go on the website and I posted a review and I didn't post it in a negative way. I just kind of said, you know, I used it. This was the reaction that I had. You know, anyone that uses it, proceed with caution. And they gave me a refund for the product that I purchased and was like, you know, I'm so sorry that you had that reaction, you know, and I was really, they were really gracious about it. And so I just wanted to mention that you know, um, they're a really great company to work with and a lot of companies are very, very profit driven and they didn't need to give me a refund because it's not their fault that that happened, but they were kind enough to do that. And so if you're looking for a company that's really concerned about their customers, I would say that Beautylish is a very great company to work with. And again, their shipping is fast and the packaging is really neat. They send things to you and all the packages almost that I received, I, there was a bunch of glass containers. Nothing was broken, nothing was jumbled around. And so um, I would say definitely purchase from them if you're looking for a great company to get um, skincare and um, beauty products from. So thumbs up for Beautylish and thumbs up for The Ordinary and I'm looking forward to getting more products from both of them. And again, I hope that the video was useful. Please subscribe so you know when there's more videos coming out. If you're not following me on Instagram, you can follow me at Alicia Loren CC. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I'm trying to film this video. Start filming for 45 minutes. You guys, this is going to be the worst filming day ever. <laughs> Some coffee. My dad's here. He brought me peanut and M&M's. Sunday going my Sunday well it was going great at church this morning with the boys and like I did my makeup and stuff and the sun came out I was so excited the sun came out because um I don't have all my lights yet and stuff and so like it was raining all week and I couldn't film and now I can't film because nobody will be quiet <sighs> now somebody's coming in the house. <sighs> Maybe I should just forget it.
I don't think my nail polish is chipped. How about that? Best day ever. Okay. Oh, <laughs>